Good morning students. Welcome to our lesson for today. In this lesson, we will use the unitary method to solve simple problems involving ratios and direct proportion. We will use the keywords direct proportion and unitary method. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to use these words confidently. Try to solve this problem on your notebook. Pause this video and come back when you are done to check your work. Let's check your work. When Alicia makes oat biscuits, she uses syrup, butter, and oats in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 4. She has plenty of syrup but only 250 grams of water and 440 grams of oats. Alicia makes as many biscuits as she can with these ingredients. How much of each ingredient would she need? Like in any word problem, we have to start by identifying what are given and what are the information that you will need to be able to answer the question. So in here, we are given the ratio of syrup to butter to oats, which is 1 is to 2 is to 4. If you notice, butter is twice the syrup and oats is twice the butter. Since Alicia wants to make as many bis biscuits as she can, let us look at the largest part that Alicia will use, the oats. She has 440 grams of oats. How many grams of butter and syrup would she need? Recall that the ratio behaves like fraction. So we can divide or multiply all the terms of the ratio by the same number and get its equivalent. So to find the amount of butter and syrup, we need to multiply the numbers by the same number. What do we multiply to 4 to get 440? Yes, that's 110. So we will multiply the other parts with 110. So 110 times 1, that's 110 grams. 110 times 2, that's 220 grams. So this is telling us that she uses 110 grams of syrup 220 grams of butter and 440 grams of oats. Now we have to check that this is possible with a given amount of butter in Alicia's cupboard. Alicia has 250 grams of butter so it is enough because she needs only 220 grams. In fact, she has some 30 grams of butter left in her cupboard. Let us look at this example wherein we will use the unitary method to solve. It is a process wherein we will find a unit ratio equivalent to the ratio that is given. It is the same thing as finding the amount for one unit of the quantity. In this example, 45 marbles have a mass of 81 grams. What is the mass of 200 marbles? So we know the weight and the marbles, so we have the ratio 45 marbles is to 81 grams. And we want to know 200 marbles is how many grams. If you see, it is not convenient to use the proportion method that we used in the first example because you cannot multiply 45 by a whole number to get 200 because 200 is not a multiple of 45. So what we will do is to find the weight of one marble by dividing the ratio into 45. So we have 45 divided by 45 is 1 marble. 81 divided by 45 is 1.8 grams. So now we see that we can multiply 1 marble by 200 to get the 200 marbles on the left side of the ratio. Do the same on the other side. Multiply by 200. So 1.8 times 200 is 360 grams. So that means 200 marbles weigh 360 grams. We could have done it quickly by dividing the numbers in the ratio. 81 divided by 45, that will give us one unit of marble. And then multiply by 200 to get how much a total of 200 marbles weigh. Then we can write 81 over 45 times 200 marbles, that is 360 grams. So we could have done this and get the same answer. 
Try solving this problem on your notebook using the unitary method. Pause this video and come back when you are done to check your work. Let's check your work. The problem says 15% of an amount is $75. What is the amount? We can also use the unitary method in finding percentages. In this example, we know the ratio of percentage to the money, which is 15% is to $75. We want to know the total amount, which is 100%. So 100% is how many dollars? So again, 100 is not a multiple of 15. So we cannot use direct proportion. So we will now divide 15% and 75 by 15 to get 1%. So we will have 15% divided by 15 is 1%. 75 divided by 15 is $5. So 1% is to $5. To get 100%, we now multiply the left side by 100 and do the same on the right hand side of the ratio. 5 times 100 is 500. So that means the amount that was missing is $500. And we can also check that 15% of $500 is $75. Solve this problem on your notebook. Pause this video and come back when you are done to check your work. Let's check your work. The problem says, a cleaner is paid 216 dirhams for 8 hours work. Work out how much the cleaner is paid for 3 hours. In this problem, we are given the ratio of hours work to wages. The cleaner is paid 216 for 8 hours. So 8 is to 216. What we want is how much he is paid in 3 hours. So 3 hours is to how much or how many dirhams. So we will find how much is paid for 1 hour by dividing the ratio by 8. So 8 divided by 8 is 1 hour. 216 divided by 8 is 27 dirhams. So for 1 hour, the cleaner is paid 27 dirhams. Now to get 3 hours, you multiply 1 hour by 3. So 1 hour by 3, 3 hours. Do the same on the right hand side of the ratio. 27 times 3. That will give us 81 dirhams. For 3 hours of work, the cleaner is paid 81 dirhams. This is a bit of a challenge. Try it on your notebook. Pause this video and come back when you are done to check your work. Let's check your work. Emilio takes 80 minutes to type 24 pages. Jamie takes 30 minutes to type 18 pages. If they work together, how long will it take them to type a total of 108 pages? So what we will do here is to find how many pages to each person can type in one minute. Then add that to get how much they can type together in one minute. So let's start with Emilia. The ratio for minutes to pages is 80 minutes to 24 pages. To get how many pages to one minute, divide by 80. So in one minute, Emilia can type 0.3 pages. That's not even one page. While Jamie, the ratio is 30 is to 18. So for one minute, divide by 30. So 30 minutes divided by 30, one minute. 18 pages divided by 30, 0.6 pages. So Jamie can type 0.6 pages in one minute. So together, if they are typing together at the same time, Emilia can type 0.3 Jamie can type 0.6, so that's total of 0.3 plus 0.6, which is 0.9 pages in one minute. So together, the ratio 
one minute is 2.9 pages. What we want now is how many minutes will they work together to be able to type 108 pages. So what is the ratio? Something is to 108 pages. Now, it is not easy to just mentally work out how many, what number will you multiply to 0 0.9 to get 108. So to find that number, we will do the opposite operation, divide. Divide 108 by 0 0.9 and that gives you 120. So that means you multiply 0.9 by 120 to get 108. So you do the same on the other side, multiply by 120. So 1 minute times 120, that gives you 120 minutes. So that means working together for Emilia and Jamie, in 120 minutes, they will be able to type 108 pages.